Alright, hey guys, Tex here from Dangerous Auction with a bit of an update video. Some guns, some gear, and some news. Um, let's get the guns out of the way first. Uh, right here up in front, we have an Echo 1 Scar that I got through a purchase through Facebook. Um, it's all stock, except for the motor. The dude said he upgraded it. I haven't had time to check, but I'll tell you what, on a fully charged 11.1, it's got a really good trigger response and a really good rate of fire. The uh, stock plastic hop-up unit in there is pretty good. I get some really decent range out of it. Um, came with the spread dot and suppressor, which is pretty cool. The guy to throw in. Um, I got it for I, I guess you can say a steal. I got it for 180 bucks. Um, not too bad. I could have probably did better, but I'm not gonna complain. It's got a full metal upper too. I'm pretty sure it's aluminum, which is really really nice. I can't wait to get out and play this play with this thing. Um, next I have the KWA KMP9R. This is the black edition with the rail. Um, other than that, I got a CQB bolt for it, uh, the power-up suppressor and three total mags. It's a really good gun. I've gotten to play with this. Uh, I don't have any gameplay because my GoPro was down at the time. But you should be getting gameplay of that with the or with the SCAR and the Mark 18 over there soon. Within the next month or so. Um, speaking of within the next month, I'm going to be moving to Arizona. Right now, if you guys don't know, I'm located in uh, Chicago. So I'm going to be moving to Phoenix. Um, they got the other guys on the team like Moose and Diego and Peanut and all them. They're still going to be doing it. They're still going to be posting on the channel from Chicago. And I'm going to be posting on the channel from uh, Phoenix, which will be pretty cool. Having gameplay footage and update videos from different uh, different states. Um, other than that, right here we have the Mark 18. It's made by VFC. Um, I got this through a trade. I traded off my KWA MP7 for this and a WeTech 1911. Which is a really solid deal because this thing had a KWA high torque motor, motor in it already. It's one of those fancy ones. I don't know exactly. Uh, I upgraded it, put some uh, uh, SHS full full steel tooth piston, um, some high speed gears. I think they're like 1301 or something. Um, reinforced spring guide with the ball bearings. I got ball bearing bushings in there. Um, replica EOTech, real, <coughs> real Magpul vertical grip. Magpul rail covers, um, foam filled suppressor, uh, pretty much it. That's that side. Um, I'm getting a FMA uh, PEC 15, I believe. PEC 16, I don't know. It's got the presser switch. It has a working light and laser. It's supposed to be pretty good. I'm getting that in the uh, Big Asia order me and Moose made. That should be coming in with the next couple of weeks. Um, oh, I also have a tight board in here. Other than that, I have a jack in the mail from Amped Airsoft. I got one of the last ones of their first order and an integrated grip line. That should be coming in by the end of this week. Um, I'm going to be doing an install video and some other stuff for them as well. Um, yeah, so that'll be cool. It'll be me, Moose, and possibly Diego doing some stuff with it. That'll be pretty cool. I got a, I got that as kind of like an impulse buy. Like, hmm, I got to get that. So that's kind of what I did. Um, other than that, yeah, moving. That'll be cool. Get some different gameplay. We're going to be doing a lot more CQB down there. That'll be cool. Um, bigger national apps. Maybe some American Milsom stuff. Maybe some Milsom West stuff. Not too sure yet. Um, I'm hoping to do some American Milsom because we're going to be closer to other places. We might be doing Copperhead 2 next year. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. Other than that, I think that's it. So that's this has been Tax with Dangerous Oxygen. I'll see you next time.